Hey what's going on guys, today I wanted to go over the latest Monster Crown update, discuss the various features involved, and provide a guide on how to use them. Now if you're new to the channel, Monster Crown is a monster taming RPG that focuses on crossbreeding, a darker story tone, and has some really interesting features planned such as mega evolution-esque transformations via the uh, synergy form system, as well as super grow atomic clock forms, there, there's a lot more than just that, but they have a bunch of different transformations planned, a bunch more crazy breeding options, etc. The game is currently in early access, and if it does interest you, I highly recommend recommend you check it out. I personally enjoyed it a lot. Uh, I did do a review on the game, which may be helpful to you, so I'll link that in the description. Anyways, earlier this week, the first Monster Crown content pack was released and features various additions to the game, being the move deleter slash relearner, the online trading feature, net eggs, and the first chromosome strand called alternate genes. Now, all four of these mechanics are pretty simple to use, but I figured it might help to show them off and sort of explain how each one works and where you can access them. So with all that being said, let's dive right in. So first things first, the move tutor can be found in the humanism kingdom just at the bottom left corner of the map. He's sort of just chilling here. When you do speak to him, you're just going to say yes to his prompt and then you'll get to select one of your on hand monsters. Upon selecting a monster, all the moves will appear on a checklist, which you can simply just check and uncheck to keep or remove whichever moves you want. It's pretty seamless and is better than having two separate people like we see in some other games. I also like that it's a simple checklist instead of having to select things once at a time, wait for some arbitrary animation and or fanfare and then having to do it again. It's very fast and useful. Keep in mind that your monsters can only have six moves at any given time and breeding will combine the learn set and move sets of your monsters so this is especially useful for those trained up crossbreeds. Next up is the online trading feature, which works extremely well and is relatively simple. What you're going to do is you're going to open up the menu and select online, go to trading, and now you have two options. Every time you open the window, it's going to give you a room ID, which you're going to need to share with the person that you're trading with. This does change, so keep that in mind. I got some help with this from Hexomeme on the Monster Crown Discord, so that's who I'll be trading with. So the first option is to seek out a friend, which will prompt you to enter their room ID. In this case, Hexo sent me theirs. And then when they allow you to connect, you're going to pick what you want to offer and then either accept or decline. The other way is to host your own and give your friend ID to the person you want to trade with, which can be seen on the top corner. They'll ask you to join, you'll accept, offer a trade, and then finalize it. Like I said, it's pretty simple and seamless, which I really appreciate. The last two features can be accessed via the breeding center and are the most fun in my opinion, especially the first being net eggs. Now, think of net eggs like wonder trade in a way. When you're on the breeding screen, all you have to do is press backspace and the game will reach out for a random gene from a random player and that will act as a primary parent. In doing this, you're also donating a gene yourself that is uploaded as well. You don't lose anything by doing this and your primary parent will just get replaced with an egg and then it gets sent to the store. This new egg will act as a primary parent and disappear when you leave. The result, of course, will be a mystery species with a palette and type of your secondary monster. There are a ton of possibilities for this, making it, like I said, the crossbreeding equivalent to Wonder Train, with many improvements in my opinion. You can add even more complexity to the mix with the final feature that we're going to be talking about, and that's alternate genes. Now, for starters, alternate genes are one of the many custom chromosomal strands you'll be able to set in the breeding center. To activate alternate genes as a potential slot, all you have to do is press F7 and you'll get a prompt saying that it's been activated. Once you do this, it'll show up as an option under the gene tab. Now the rest of this does get a little bit advanced. If you don't know exactly how the breeding system works, I'll leave a link in the uh, description for a breeding guide that I did around the time of the game's launch. Feel free to check it out if I've kind of lost you with some of this, but basically what it does is it changes which stats come from the secondary parent. So usually each parent brings down a specific set of stats and characteristics. The primary always brings down its species, attack, defense, and speed, whilst the secondary parent brings down its color palette, typing, HP, magic, and resistance. The alternate gene actually changes this so that attack, magic, species, type, and palette all get switched. So now both parents will be passing down stats that they previously did not, such as the primary parent passing down its magic and the secondary its attack. This makes for an insane amount of combinations, but just to show an example, I bred two monsters, one without the gene, and this was the result, and then the second with the gene, and this was the result. Same two monsters, very different outcome. This feature is going to require a lot more playing around with, but this is just the first of many gene options that are to come, so I'm really excited to see what Jason has planned for this system. So yeah guys, that was the basic gist of Monster Crown's new features given the new content pack. Uh, I know I am really excited about these changes, especially net eggs, which I think are a really cool concept, and of course, online trading is always nice, especially with how customizable these monsters are. Let me know which of the features you're personally excited for and what you'd like to see in the future with regards to Monster Crown. I'm personally really excited to explore more of Crown Island when the next content pack drops and I mean hey, 
The story's been pretty good so far, so I want to see how it continues. But anyways, with all that being said, if you did enjoy the guide, make sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at GymLeaderEd. Check out our subscriber Discord, all links in the description. Until next time, peace.